Hello everybody, this is the King of Pikmin here yet again, and we're back with more Monster Hunter Rise. Now, if you remember, I uh, I, I had a newfound love for the Gunlance in the last bargains. episode. I already did a lottery See bummer. You later. Um, I already loved the Gunlance, but the Blast Dash, oh, and then the way this Gunlance looks, so good. So I'm probably going to do the first fight with the Gunlance. Alright, so what I think I'm gonna do is these. I did okay. So I did some. I did four of the key quests off camera, like I said I was going to, and that way I just have to do one of those. But what I do want to do is get these new moves for the weapons I like. So I guess we'll just start at the top with the great. Well, the hammer's my favorite, so I'm gonna go for the hammer first. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the gun lance. Once I beat the hammer mission, I'm going to use the hammer on the next mission, and then so on and so forth, so that you guys can see the new moves, and then I'll unlock a new one at the end. Dang it, I wish I read that that uh, loading screen. It looked like it was going to be hilarious. Oh, here, I found it. All right, Ace, listen time. The secret to hammer, well, let's not kid ourselves here. Hammer equals thrashing and pummeling your target. <laughs> Go hunt this puke puke and bear off, and you'll know exactly what I mean. All right, guys. There's a new there's a new uh, monster on the map that we haven't seen before. You see, you can tell by the question mark. Oh god, it's Rajon. I want to mount him. Dodge this. Oh, Kobe just went in on us. Got the classic Rajon theme. Oh, there's Bear Off. And yeah, we got Rajon, boys. You come over here, Bear Off. Let's see the light attack first. A lot of buoy. Okay, he can breathe. The electricity. Ooh! Oh! He dodged the final. I want to land that whole combo. Boom, boom. Boom! What's his other heavy? Of course, the lightning breath. The mounted punch. More lightning breath. Oh, <laughs> the Kano ball. <laughs> Turn that too much. Oh, you missed. Boom. <laughs> get ourselves a new hammer move. Dang, Squire. Still trucking them bombs. Oh, they're beating up that Triceratops. I told him to wait. I don't want them beating up this poor guy. He didn't do nothing to us. Alright, let's check out this switch skill, shall we? So it replaces side smash. Interesting. A side sweat with the hammer can be used as a starting point for bludgeoning combos. Yeah. So what do I get? Water strike. An attack that allows you to absorb a monster's hit. Form this attack right as you're about to get be hit to negate the damage. When successful, it is possible to follow up with an upswing hammer attack. They gave the hammer a counter. 
Yes, please. All right, let's do it, and then we'll see what we get for the hand, the great sword. Freaking weird for me to land in my like my new move. And I can still beat the snot out of him though. Way up, got him with the uppercut. Get a count. There we go, we got one. Oh, I missed. Got another one. Ooh, did not counter that though. But that's what you, you guys see what it is, you know, like it replaces my little side swipe that I used to have, like that. I mean, I can still do that now. But now I do that, and if I get hit... You get the idea. I'm sitting here taking that hit. Ooh, we, got, we ended it with the counter, boys. We ended it with the counter. There we go. That That's a move Let's that, like... See. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but why the heck would you use the other one? All the other one does is set up for the Big Bang combo. Which, this does as well. This probably, you know, this probably doesn't do as much damage or something. But it's faster. Like, look at how fast that is. For a hammer move. Like, this is a normal overhead smash. And then this is this overhead smash. And it still leads into Big Bang. And then it also is a guard point where you block damage. So it's like, why would you not use this one? It's sick. And then being able to go straight from the counter into an upswing is really satisfying. So that's a, I'm very happy with this move. Gives the hammer more options. I mean, I was messing around with it too much, but I really like it. Those of you wondering why I didn't want to do the Lance first, it's because I want to get the new Lance move and then do the key quest, so um, that's why we're going to be doing the Heavy Bow Gun next, and we're saving the Lance for last. I upgraded the Greatsword quite a bit, so now it's called the Daybreak Cleaver. It's a pretty cool name, but more importantly, let's see what this switch skill is. True Charge... It replaces True Charge Slash. What the heck? Rage Slash. A strike from a unique stance. While it does not match the power of a True Charge Slash, receiving damage while weapon is drawn sparks a flame in the user's heart, strengthening their attack. Wow. I like it. Oh wait, do we have... Okay, I put my favorite move back on, because I didn't like the other wire bug move that they gave me. Oh wow, it's in the arena. Alright, well... Get right into it, shall we? Good god. Fault I missed. Valiant effort, am I right, boys? That's sick. I like that a lot. They're whopping 34 damage. Good god, it still does a grit though. Yeah, I like that way better than the true charge slash, personally. I know that's probably blasphemous for greatsword users, but the rage slash is so sick. Throw away Viserios.
Boom! I hit them both with that bad boy. Ow, crop duster. Oh, I gotta get my cleanse. Do I have it? I do. Or the odor. I forgot that that takes away your healing items. I should have kept a lot. I wasn't watching Basarius. Basarius is just being a real pain in the frickin' butthole right now. like this rage slash but with the both of these guys I can just never get them. There we go, I absorbed it. Mm. Okay. I do really like that. But it's just I keep getting hit out of it. <clears throat> Pardon me, I keep getting hit out of it. By Basario. My favorite thing about it is that you can change the direction like that. Whereas with um the other weapons, I mean with the uh, true charge slash, you can't do that really. How in the name of God did that just miss this man? Hidden me. Am I just that bad with the great sword or that unlucky? Like they always turn their head like right before I freaking hit them. Ooh, there we go. There's the rage slash. <laughs> That's the second time I ended it with the new move I got. But I love being able to just tank a hit. And then counterattack like that. It's pretty cool. I like it better than True Charge Slash. I do. I mean, I love True Charge Slash. I don't know. Part of me loves True Charge Slash because the damage you get out of it is crazy. But the unique qualities of this one, like doing more damage when you take a hit and stuff, makes it, it makes it a little more interesting in my opinion. Although those raw damage numbers, I'll have to see once I'm like high rank. Or, like, have, like, the best gear I can get. What the damage numbers look like, you know what I mean? In comparison to each other, but I like Rage Slash a lot. What the heck? That looks like Seagward of Katarina. From Dark Souls. But yeah, I haven't mentioned also, I have... Um, if you haven't noticed, I changed the Kobe in my, um overlay to have his Toby Kodachi armor because I, I love him with that armor so much. Alright, Ace Lesson Time. A knight wields their lance to protect the weak, just like a Rathian fiercely protects her young. Capture the queen, you'll acquire some new skills for your lance. Dude, I love that they mentioned the knights. <laughs> yes. Too bad. I should have brought my lance to do this, but I wanted to try the... I'm so stupid. I forgot to change my switch skill. I didn't even look at it. Am I able to do it here? change switch heal I can. Counter shot. It'll take away counter shot. Counter charger. For a charged shot. Oh, wait. Oh, I see. I guess let's try it. I, I really don't want to get rid of counter shot. That's like my favorite part. <laughs> but we'll give it a shot. It only takes one wire bug and it says it reduces the amount of time to charge, which could be helpful. Here we go, boys and girls. Going in with that. I 
How do you, uh... That's right. Wow, that was good. Oh, wow. That really reduces the uh, charge time, huh? Did I not have a wire bug at the ready? I tried to counter that. I like that animation a lot too. I do like that extra charge speed, it's really handy. charge speed boy. Load it up. going too bad. Episode that 
mini gun. night there we go so my thoughts on the counter charger i liked it more than i expected to actually um because i do like charging up the ammo for the big damage numbers and it takes a long time to charge ordinarily i missed out on some loot dang it um but that being said parting ways with counter shot I, I don't think I like that, just because I, I can never get mounts unless the monsters attack each other if I'm using counter charger, because I have no way of dealing mounting damage, so I think I'll probably stick with counter shot it's more satisfying it's, it gives less utility you know but, we'll see I'll experiment with both and see which one I like better but counter shot's just too sick alright boys and girls, the moment we've all been waiting for Okay, it's going to replace Anchor Rage, which I like. It's a counter. But what is it going to do? Spiral Thrust. A lightning-fast two-step maneuver to reposition and counterattack. This attack uses your shield to parry, so it's still a parry. Nice. Um, then uses the Wired Bug to send you thrusting forward. Use it to confuse your target and unleash a wave of strikes. That sounds sick. Medium recovery speed. They're both medium. Reposition with left stick after the attack to lead into the next. It can also be halted at the first movement. Okay, so you can just like, I don't know, you dash around and poke them? I don't know, I like the sound of it, let's give it a shot. 